I try not to worry about anything anymore. I know worrying is only affecting my mental health at the end of the day, so I try my best to release control. I know when it's all said and done, I'll end up with the perfect person I'm supposed to be with, the career I'm supposed to have, the opportunities, the everything. Worrying is just showing God that you don't believe in the imperfect, perfect plan for your journey, and that's just not how my faith is set up. So. Yeah, I want to see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you just know that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you own it. All right, so you guys know that I am no stranger when it comes to talking about therapy, dealing with depression and anxiety. So I want to give a special shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is a online source that helps you get professional help from licensed therapists and counselors. It's important to know that BetterHelp is not a crisis line. But, however, it does feature licensed therapists who are certified to provide therapy and counseling. So how it works is you would visit the website by using my link down below in the description box and you'll be given a quick questionnaire that'll take you approximately about 15 minutes. And once you finish the questionnaire, you'll be matched with a professional counselor in less than 24 hours. What I like about BetterHelp is that it's extremely cost effective. You won't be charged per session like traditional therapy, but instead it's a monthly subscription. Financial aid is available, but you can also use my discount code down below to get money off of your subscription. So as always, I'll leave all the information down below in the description box for those who are interested in taking control of their mental health or even just seeking guidance regarding their mental health. So it's two o'clock in the morning and my ass cannot sleep. Oh, ah oh, shit. I gotta make me a, a damn dental appointment. I had a feeling that came out about three weeks ago i know good and goddamn well i shouldn't have waited this damn long to make a freaking appointment oh my god and i'm starting to really feel the sensitivity who have you know about tooth pains y'all know what i'm going through right now and i have been procrastinating on making me an appointment because the tooth wasn't bothering me now today is the first day that is bothering me so i blame myself but i'm gonna have to wait until the morning to contacted this to make an appointment because yeah it's an emergency i can already tell within the next couple of days i'm gonna be like in excruciating pain mm. oh i really ain't gonna be able to sleep tonight i take it like a g but i'm hungry oh my god i was literally i was literally about to make me some tuna i don't even want to eat the only thing that i could possibly do is take me a tylenol but that's not gonna do nothing for the tooth pain, but that'll do something for the migraine. Oh wait, I think that this is Tylenol. Yep, this is Tylenol. Wow. When I went to go get surgery last year, they gave me the wrong medication. This medication has somebody else's name on it. One, why am I just noticing this? And two, this says, what is tranexamic acid? 650 milligrams. I don't even know what that is, but in this bottle is Tylenol. It's Tylenol. A full bottle of Tylenol. And they charged an arm and a leg. <sighs> I don't even feel like talking about that because that's a whole nother. I want to go ahead and take my lashes off because they look a hot mess. And it's definitely time for them to come off. And we're going to try to actually really do our lashes. I could not find the one, the pre-made clusters that came, that went up to 20 milliliters. I just couldn't find them. They only went up to like 16, which I feel like is too short, which is the length of my lashes right now. And I don't, I don't like them. And the glue is all clumped up and stuff. Like, no. So I'm going to try to create my own clusters. I'm going to use 16, 17, and 18. They do have 19 and 20. I don't know if I really want to go that far. But I'm going to use 16, 17, and 18. Yes, on my lashes. We're going to try. We're going to try. Because I got, look, y'all. <laughs> I got the little fan. And I also got the tools to do them. So, look. We're going to try to do our lashes. But first, I'm going to go ahead and remove these lashes, cleanse my face, and then... We're gonna try to do eyelashes. It's two o'clock in the morning. I just be having a hard time sleeping, y'all. Did, did I welcome y'all back to a new vlog? Greetings, my kindreds. Welcome back to another vlog. 
Okay, so now that my lashes are off, my lashes are clean, and then I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out how to make these individual lashes clusters. <laughs> Trying to be Miss Do It All is literally like a blessing and a curse. I promise you. It's literally like a blessing and a curse because, look, you get to save so much money by just doing it yourself, but, but look, what's the, what's the curse? <laughs> what's the curse? Ooh, this is gonna be hard. Let me travel one of the 15. I should probably watch a YouTube video first. So you see that? It's gonna take me a long time to do my lashes, but I'm up for the damn challenge. If them girls can do it, I could do it on my damn self. Oh my God. So I finally did my lashes. I am like so proud of myself because I think I did a really good job. I even tried to like spike them and whatnot. But this was my first time um, doing like the actual individual lashes. This is like a little trial and error. Um, but I still feel like I did a really good job. I even learned how to fan them like halfway through. So we gonna see. But yeah, I like them. I like how they turned out. I think I did a good job. You know what I'm saying? As time go on, your girl gonna get better and better and better and better. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and um, do another wig install. Gorgeous uh, recharge me. Y'all remember that short curly wig that I had wore uh, when I went on a solo date with myself? So they reached out to me and wanted me to do like a vid video for them. So it's just another wig that I think might be like super cute. And then after that, I need to find like a look of like what I want to wear tomorrow because me and my friends are gonna go take pictures. I haven't taken pictures in a very long time. So we are going to take some pictures tomorrow and then we might do something afterwards, I don't know. So your girl about to be up all night. I'm about to be up all night. Leave it home. If he ain't got it right by now, then scratch him off. He just called me, said it's about 20 strong. He's standing at the door, don't wanna take us on. The ring, let it go about three months ago. The pain, the stress that ain't me no more. The girl that they used to know, it done changed. Now they say him, it's before they mention my name. So I apply shadow root all throughout the wig, not just the closure, because I think that's lazy, <laughs> and I'm not lazy. So yeah, I'm, I went ahead and I applied shadow root all throughout the wig. It's gonna be so pretty. And then once um, the color has set long enough, which is approximately maybe like mm, another 30 minutes. Um, typically I'll do like 45 minutes, but I'm pretty sure it's been about 15 minutes now. So I'm gonna wait another 30 minutes and then um, we're gonna rinse this out. Okay, so I've literally been up all goddamn day. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Haven't been asleep yet. Hey Google. Hey Google. She just always hits the spot for me. Like, ugh, can't even get mad. But hey Google, I'm trying to vlog here. Can you pause the music please? Thank you so much. But yeah, look, it's 8.03. 8 o'clock in the morning. Your girl hasn't been asleep yet. I've been just like, I just feel like the remainder of the year, I just need to push through. Like, less sleep as possible, more work as possible, push through, have like my plan ready, you know what I'm saying, for the new year because baby, we want a bigger and better thing. I'm feeling like very optimistic, okay? Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and make some breakfast. I'm making some turkey sausages. Y'all, I really want a new camera. Like for the like, for the past couple of vlogs, for the past couple of vlogs, like the autofocus has always been trash. But like for the past couple of vlogs, the autofocus has been like real, real, real bad. Like every time I bust a move, I get blurry. Look, and they just gotta focus on me. Maybe it's my setting. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna double check it. But y'all about to make some turkey sausage, some oats, and some boiled eggs. This is so ghetto. This is so ghetto. I really gotta upgrade my camera because if it annoys me, I know it annoys y'all. I want to work out today, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time because I still gotta do my friend lashes. We, I still gotta do a shoot today. I still gotta go to the post office. Um, I still gotta school work to do. I still got a lot to do, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to work out today. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aha! At least in the house. So check, check, check it out. Play Brandy, I wanna be down. I need to turn off all these extra lights that I have going on up in here so I can save some energy. Okay, so for breakfast, we got some oats with some granola mixed in there to give it a little bit of flavor and some honey. We got some turkey sausages and boiled eggs with a little bit of lemon pepper on it. Hmm. So I'm about to eat my breakfast. Huh? Oh, and finish my coffee. My energy is on 10 right now. Being that I do not sleep. Oh, yeah. We gotta keep going. If I take a nap, I swear I'll probably be out for the count. But I really don't need a nap. Hey, Google. Play. And still I stay. See my day. pictures like I said I haven't taken pictures in a very long time so I'm about to go take some pictures um I didn't this was not planned because I don't even go shopping like that so I didn't even have nothing really to wear but I did have this two-piece set that I have on right now um that I had a long time ago and I've never worn it before I don't necessarily see myself ever wearing it so I'm like you know what let's just take pictures in it with the new hair for the hour because um, I'm definitely gonna change my hair later. Why is my Uber 13 minutes away? Yeah, but I'm coming back home after this. After I take pictures, I'm definitely um, coming back home because um, I got a lot of work to do. Like a lot, 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 a lot of work to do. So yeah. You look so good, girl. You okay? You hear me? Huh. <laughs> oh, that one was it. You should do that pose again. Uh huh. That one. Yeah. And then turn your head a little bit. For, yeah, right there. Ah, oh, shit now. Okay, so today is a brand new day. I'm so salty that I didn't do like a get ready with me segment for this, but me and my friends are going to a gala right now. Um, and I love that all of us are in all black. We have an all black with the diamonds and stuff. We looking so cute. But yeah, shout out to Brandy for giving me the inspo for this look. Because I didn't know what I was going for. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. Because I was just like all over the place early today. But my friend Brandy, she was like, do the messy, like, hangover look. Which is what I went for for my hair today. And then she told me to do the red lip. Because I was going to go with nude. But I think red really does, like, pop and pull, like, the all black fitted attire together. And then I have on these really cute earrings that I've had for like a very long time. So I couldn't even tell y'all where I got it from. These rings I've had for a very long time. Couldn't even tell you where I got it from. This dress that I actually got from Fashion Nova like two years ago. So this is like a Fashion Nova dress. You wouldn't even know. And then my shoes I think is like all done. Ready to go? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> we look so good with the red lip. Oh yeah. Oh it's yeah. My birthday, so what, you know, what, yes, and we're celebrating her birthday. It's yeah. definitely given. We're cute. <laughs> I love it. That's better. Yeah. I can just also do one by one. Is that better? Yeah. Step up. I'm sure. It's okay. okay, I think the light. Ready? The red looks so dangerous on this one. I don't even like it. Dangerous. Ooh, the yellow lighting, I like it. Y'all ready? Yeah. Ready? I got my white glasses. Oh, I got my white glasses. Okay. Oh, we got 
Okay, so it is a brand new day. Um, me and Nala are about to go get her groomed. Um, we found this groomer that's here in Buckhead. Hopefully they do a really good job. It's a private groomer, so hopefully they do a really good job. Um, but my Uber, my Lyft is here right now, so we're about to go ahead and head out. I was just trying to decide what glasses I should wear, because I never, I rarely wear glasses, like actual sunglasses. So, but I have like a few of them, so I was trying to figure out, okay, what should I wear today? Just real quick. So I have these Vinci um, Burberry glasses that I got from my mom. I think that these are really cute and they go perfectly with my outfit. But I think that these are like um, really cute. And then I have these Desi glasses. Now I like the shape of these, but I feel like they're a little too brown. And oh, I have these ones from Desi as well. I like these. I think I'm gonna go with these because my bag is white and it has the white. Okay, I think this is cute. Even though I like the shape of the other two better, but I think that these are super cute. All right, Part of me that cares is gone, and I know that I can't get caught up. We could have been try to pretend. is night and then she started turning like gray i'm like girl uh, -uh. she was looking like ashy like an ashy black i was like oh, that's not cute but whatever now nala's growing out for the past couple of months i would say maybe like starting three months ago nala started changing colors and now she's like turning into like a brown ombre little puppy she's not even a puppy anymore she's two but you look so pretty girl so basically i got her um a haircut and a bath today and this is like the best haircut and bath that she's ever gotten oh my gosh she looks so cute look at her teddy bear face in her brown paws her boots are so cute say this is all natural too Oh, baby girl, you look so pretty, girl. Oh, she looks so good, y'all. Look at Nala Pooh Bear. She did the cutest little thing in the freaking world. That I did the cutest little thing in the mother freaking world. That I did the cutest little thing in the mother freaking world. Oh, my took a push. <laughs> So happy i'm so pleased so now that i'm back home i had stopped by um uh, what is it little italia or new italia or whatever that was right next to the apple store in lennox and i had ordered me a margarita pizza but with white sauce so i'm about to season that a little bit because it was kind of like basic i had tasted a slice and it was the flavor wasn't really given so i'm gonna season it put it back in the oven and I'm gonna clean up. 
Baby got to clean up. Baby got to clean up. She is just so adorable. Look at now the blue beard. Oh, I took a really spending a real deal week with me but yeah now that I finished eating my pizza you know what I'm saying I had to put my little I had to put my my own little sauce up there because that pizza was so bland I'm like who in the hell it was giving me LA vibe why does pizza so stale <laughs> flavor wise why was it so stale but anyway so I had my pizza I didn't have me a few glasses of wine actually I don't watch me a Netflix movie and um, my homegirl, she wants to come over and she wants to have a slumber party. <laughs> so we're actually going to have like a slumber party. She's bringing like her hookah and coal and stuff like that. Um, I still need to shower. And I actually am going to wax myself. <laughs> I'm going to do my first bikini wax, y'all. I've been on this tantrum of wanting to do everything on my own because i'm like i'm going to be taking my money and putting it elsewhere okay so i've been like doing my own lashes look next thing you know y'all y'all i'm gonna be doing my own nails in a second but let's not get ahead of ourselves so <laughs> i was excited because your girl has been woofing <laughs> your girl has been woofing okay so hmm it's time to get the kitty pretty it's time to get the kitty pretty Look, only thing we missing is a, only thing we missing is a man. Nah, no, I'm kidding. Am I? You thought I was feeling you? That nigga got munch. Nigga, either he ate it for lunch. Look, I don't have the biggest of crib, but I'm gonna make space. <laughs> for my friends. Look, this was so last minute, but I feel like regardless, it's, it's literally one o'clock in the morning, but I feel like I just want to, I think it's the wine, y'all. <laughs> I'm so emotional. I just feel like I'm happy my friend is coming over. <laughs> I'm happy we're having a sleepover. Um, because just as much as she needed me, I need her right now, too. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> that was so dramatic. <laughs> that was so dramatic. But, um, but it's real. Like, it's so real. But, yeah, I'm about to go um, downstairs and get her. She's here. And then uh, we're going to shower and do our wax, okay? <laughs> I had a little friend friend. A little friend friend. She was like, oh, you can have that hookah. But guess what she just told me about this little hookah? What'd you say about this little hookah? This little hookah about to be out in like 20 seconds. And it's gonna be extra fine. That's why he gave it to me. Look at the inside. It's just for somebody to use it. Oh. It just needs to be clean, so I can clean both of them. That's okay, because I'm gonna have to take you to the hookah store and give me a home anymore. He said he was gonna take me to go get some coal and some, some shisha and whatever I need, but. Child, that's a that's a story to come. The fact you turned into a hookah head and you wasn't even smoking like that at first. I'm still not necessarily a hookah head. But you didn't even want to like hit it. I have my own. I have my Angel lips. Hmm. Look, she told me that you can order hookah shisha stuff on the app. I ain't gonna tell y'all the app because she, she was mad. I told y'all about the lashes. Please, throw the lashes out, y'all. Never had a problem buying these lashes before. I ain't gonna give y'all all the juice, but mm, it smells good. It smells like it already got like a minty mm -hmm. flavor already. Mm, this smells good. We can do this by itself. 
here. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you put cold water in here. Yes. Okay. I just need to clean it. Give it a Is that what the song called? I need to get the aluminum foil that's already made. No, the but, in. like it be having a um, taste on it. The, the aluminum foil that's already made? This process. With the holes the holes. Oh, yeah. wow. So he can like taste it. That's from a hookah head. Every person. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Take note. That's something else she be doing. She be, she be uh, dehydrating the shisha. I oh, ain't yeah, know yeah, nothing yeah. about that. We gonna get into it. And if y'all want real big clouds and get real fancy, put you some milk in there. Milk in Almond the base. Milk? Almond milk? Mm -hmm. Whole milk. Damn. Perfectly. Damn. It needs all the fat so okay. it can pull the clouds. Yes or no? I get like a little jug of Yeah, like a little, little bit of milk. For the hookah. And you'll be blowing from here to, you know, Dubai somewhere. It's so smooth. It makes like the, the hookah. Yeah, it's so smooth. Yeah, it's 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 smooth. Yeah, Okay, so right now I am putting the shisha. I mix two flavors together, so I'm just putting the shisha here on a napkin. And this is like the most important part. This smells like heaven. So I don't know if y'all have smoked hookah, but, uh, or made hookah before. This is important. You don't want to pat it dry, but you just want to kind of get the grease off of there. And the reason for that is you don't want your hookah to burn fast. It, it just creates a, like a bigger smoke. And for like really good clouds, you want to take your scissors and you want to just cut it. This um, brand that I'm using here, in the black one, black one, um, <laughs> it's already kind of fine. But if you're using like Starbucks, most people smoke Starbucks or Al Parker. If you're an orange mint, blue mist smoker or Mighty Breeze. The stuff is thicker, so you would have to like cut it because it's it's not as fine. What's fine? Like this. But she just so it. I'm chopping it up now to make it like really small. What I'm doing now, Naja, you might want to hold the camera so they can see. This. So I'm putting the flavor on here, but there's a method to the madness once I get it packed down on here, and I'm gonna okay. So, you want to get it like this, but you don't want it coming out the edges because if it's coming out the edges, that means it's going to touch the foil and it's going to burn, okay? So, you want to take it like this and then you want to pat it down because you want a tight pack for a good smooth smoke. I'm just going to pat it down like that. And this bowl had holes in it and I already know where the holes are, so... I'm just going through and finding. So for an example, with this bowl right here, you would just go through and find the hole, poke, 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 poke. And the reason that you want to do that is because it allows the air to flow. Oh, I never knew that. So if you poke holes in it, then it can flow through the holes without having like that, like unsmooth. Okay. So we're doing that. And it, the key is not to lift it past the edges. So you don't want it going past the edges. If it's past the edges, the it will touch the foil. So the coal has weight on it. So you gotta give it room to like weigh the foil down without touching. Y'all taking notes? I hope y'all taking notes, cause I am. The most important part here, one of the most important, all of it's important, so. Okay, so I'm just cutting this in half. Cut the foil in half. In half. Okay. So, for me, I crinkle the foil. Not like too much. Just crinkle it a little bit. Then I open the foil. You always want to do shiny side down. You do shiny side down to keep the heat down. I don't know if y'all ever paid attention to foil, but there's a shiny side and there's a dull side. This emits more heat, so you want it down to heat the bowl up. A little science there. So, we're gonna just 
I'm taking it and the, I want it tight. So I'm taking it with two hands and then, yeah. I'm a pro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'm going around the sides. Okay. No, Jay, you might want to hold the camera for these parts. We're gonna go in a circle. Mm -hmm. Clockwise. Or kind of clockwise. That doesn't really matter, but you want to space your holes out. I'm not going to call them little holes, but you see how neat that is? Mm -hmm. The reason why it's so neat is, again, the flow. If you just poke holes anywhere, the flow is off mm -hmm. and it's unbalanced. So you mm -hmm. want to do this and go in a circle. And you want to leave that middle part like that. Meaning like there's no holes in that little middle. Okay. Because coals are going to go here and here. And then the air is going to allow it to rise and fall. So it's no holes in the middle. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that either. Do the same thing here. What you crinkle for? The crinkling. I got a clue. And your coals. Just a listen here. We want all of them together. Heat together makes it cook faster. So if you spread them out, then the heat will have to spread. But if you do them like that, they'll burn faster. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with this hookah. Size does not matter here. <laughs> Only time size doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> Literally. Literally, okay? Yeah. Excuse the nails, we're going tomorrow, okay? <laughs> so, same thing here. It's little, so I don't wanna poke the same big holes that I just did in the other one. And because I'm doing smaller holes, I'm gonna do more holes. Hmm. And I'm gonna leave this middle open too. So I left her, her middle open too. Another important thing, we gotta clean out this. This holds bacteria, stuff like that. And it can hold the flavor that you were smoking before it. And somebody else turn. So just take the hottest water you can get. You think they be doing that in the club? Yep. Okay. Well, we going to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they soaking them in vinegar. If you go somewhere and you order orange mint hookah and it tastes like blue mint, they not cleaning their hookah. The uh, mental note. It's giving natural vloggers for me. I'm doing a little how-to video, y'all. <laughs> I teach a few classes now. My YouTuber. <laughs> but you know, I should have my little my little one. She look better on her than she did here. She Nah friend, you worked her, sorry. Girl! We showed them Nyla new hair. Yes! <laughs> and she is look She's a new lady! Hello! Pretty girl. Oh, pretty girl. My precious baby girl. I gotta get her a Halloween costume. So, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll probably just go on Amazon and see if they have any cute little doggy costumes because my mom is throwing a party. I can tell y'all. My mom is throwing a party on Saturday. It's gonna be lit. She called my phone, told my son, Ma, please don't forget your camera equipment. I said, I'm not. No, for real, because I'm having some bomb ass Halloween stuff coming to the house and my shit needs to be recorded. The bitch said, I was like, you know, I got you. So she's having a, a, a costume contest as well. So mom, she always have prizes and stuff. So she's gonna have a first, second, and third place winner of whoever got the best costume. And they got some big prizes, so that's exciting. I'm gonna enter Nala in the costume contest. It's only $5, so. Hmm, look, we yeah. coming home. Nala, I'm about to put her to work. You about to go to work. Say, I don't look this cute for nothing. Show this for me. Oh, <laughs> it's a show this for me. Got old me, you need to be to but yeah, I just got out of the shower. I'm actually, y'all, 
It's 3.51 in the morning. Look, I, I swear I'm not lying. Like, I don't know what's going on, but it's 3.51 in the morning. Like, 4 o'clock in the morning. And I'm literally about to give myself a wax for the first time. Y'all, I'm scared. I've been sitting here for like the past 45 minutes watching YouTube videos on how to like give a proper wax. So, I went to uh, um, Ulta and got this microwavable wax in essentials. Um, so, it comes with the wax that you put in the microwave and some um, wax sticks. And then I also got these um, strips. Yeah, I also got these strips. So, we are about to look. I'm scared. Y'all, I'm so scared. But we getting real, we getting real intimate on this channel. Y'all been spending a lot of little QT time with me in the house. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm so I had to put that in the microwave for like a good five minutes for it to even melt. I think this might be too liquidy to apply. Is it a thick caramel paste? But this is giving like a thick caramel paste, right? I don't know. I don't know. Look, I'm just gonna do like the bikini line area and see how that works out. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm. I don't know y'all, I'm scared. I don't wanna do this no more. I don't wanna do this no more. Ooh, okay. Let's just try it. Can't be a fucking sucker now. Let's try it. You just gonna, you just gonna try it. No, Can't leave it on too long. Oh, baby. Oh, I can't do it. I fucked up. I know you're wondering how I got here. But on that note, I'm going to be. I'm going to do my underarms in the morning. I'm going to be. I got a dental appointment in the morning. Look, I'm just going to take my little happy, happy, my little, my little happy go looking ass to bed. <laughs> and uh, try this again in the morning, y'all. Good night. What you laughing at? Today is a brand new day and we are going to be taking Mary out to dinner for her birthday. Since we're leaving tomorrow to go back home, we're gonna miss her birthday, which is tomorrow. So we're gonna go, um, we have reservations at eight at Arnett's and we're just gonna have dinner, have a few drinks, sing a little happy birthday. And then, um, yeah, I have to come back home and I have to get ready for my flight in the morning. Bittersweet, bittersweet. I would do a quick outfit check, but my Uber already left me and I'm waiting for my next car. So I'm just a little like, I'm a little out of it right now. But I did do a bunch of ripping and running today. So earlier today, I went and did Pilates. I went to the sauna. I went to the mall to get a few gift cards for Mary. And then I went to, I went to, Damn, I forgot. Somewhere to eat lunch. 
I basically just had a salad. Came home, took a quick nap, <coughs> rushed and got up to get ready. My God. So yeah, happy birthday, Mary.